In 2017, Mojang announced that they had been working on a major graphical update for the Minecraft Bedrock editions called the Super Duper Graphics Pack. For many years until that point, the only way to enjoy such shading and lighting effects in Minecraft was to install third-party modifications to the Minecraft Java edition of the game. To the great disappointment to many Bedrock Edition players, the Super Duper Graphics Pack was never released. It wasn't until 2019 that Mojang finally announced that they had partnered with NVIDIA to release this feature exclusively for Windows 10 PCs with NVIDIA RTX graphics cards. Now, we're finally able to take a look at what Mojang and NVIDIA have been working on for so long. Hey there everybody, it's me Cody from OnMicrosoft.com, where today I'll be showing you how to join the Minecraft RTX beta program for Minecraft on Windows 10. Before attempting to install the Minecraft RTX shaders, you should make sure that your PC meets the following criteria. Your PC must have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 or better, an Intel Core i5 or equivalent CPU or better, and at least 8GB of available RAM. Your PC should be up to date with the latest version of Windows 10. Also, of course, you need to make sure that you already own the Minecraft for Windows 10 version in the Microsoft Store. I'd like to express a word of caution before we continue, though. Uh, world saves created or opened in beta versions of Minecraft may not be compatible with release versions of the game. Attempting to open worlds created in beta versions of the game may lead to lost data or destroyed worlds. Make sure that you export backups of all of your Minecraft worlds before you attempt to install a beta. I'll have another video with instructions on doing this in the description. Once you're sure that you've met all of the requirements and you've backed up all of your Minecraft worlds, you can begin by installing the Xbox Insider Hub app from the Microsoft Store. Once that app is installed, launch it and select Insider Content from the menu on the left. Now, select Minecraft for Windows 10 from the list of available Insider downloads. From this page, click Join, select the available beta version of Minecraft, click Done, then accept the Terms of Service. It may take a few minutes for your account to update with access to beta versions of Minecraft. Once you've been enrolled into the beta program, an update for Minecraft will become available in the Microsoft Store. After the update for Minecraft finishes downloading, you should see debug information displayed near the top of the Minecraft window. In order to experience RTX, you must download RTX-optimized content from the Minecraft Marketplace. There are currently several downloads available in the Minecraft Marketplace with RTX-enabled content for free. Simply select on one of the content packages and click Download. Once the RTX content has been downloaded, you can create a world and explore. Additionally, you can find new video settings to configure ray tracing in a new section just below where the game's original video settings were located. In case you decide you no longer want to continue experimenting with pre-release features in Minecraft, you can leave the beta program using the Xbox Insider's Hub. You will have to wait up to an hour for the Insider status to be removed from your account, and you will also need to uninstall and reinstall Minecraft to get back to a release version of the game. So, be careful when using pre-release software. It probably won't cause your PC to explode, but you may encounter bugs and other software instability. Anyways, this has been a quick video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. If this video was helpful, make sure to like it, subscribe, and check out onmicrosoft.com for more info. Thank you, goodbye.